Hello everyone. Well, this week has definitely felt like summer and I was out in the heat on Monday along with the cicadas uh, when I joined council member Evan Glass and a host of other council members and allies to raise the LGBTQ plus flag at the Montgomery County County Executive's office in Rockville. Now, this has become an annual tradition, I think, that speaks to the county's welcoming of all persons and a symbol of radical inclusion that we particularly enjoy at Montgomery College. It was heartwarming to be surrounded by so many others who understand just how deeply inclusion matters within the LGBT community, as well as what it means for Montgomery County at large. Uh, this special event was my last official flag raising event here in Maryland, but you can bet that I'm looking forward to participating in future events like these in Nevada. Now, in other news this week, I'm sure that you read the board's memo to the community announcing the interim president for the college. I am absolutely thrilled that my friend, Dr. Charlene Dukes, as well as a person who is well recognized within our region for her extraordinary leadership, uh, will be stepping into this space. Uh, Dr. Duke spent 13 years as the president of Prince George's Community College uh, before her retirement last year, and she has the breadth and the depth to take over this position and to keep the college's priorities moving forward. As the memo mentioned, the college has a number of important initiatives that are in progress right now, and I've already started my briefing of them with Dr. Dukes, and she'll be participating in various orientation strategies over the next several weeks. Now, I know that you will find her on her experience and definitely her background and knowledge of Maryland to be something that's very important, but also important as we think about how we continue to drive MC 2025 and to keep the college moving forward on some key initiatives. Uh, she and I have overlapped considerably on a number of committees and task forces across the state over the last decade, and I have no doubt, none at all, that she will enhance the leadership efforts already in progress here at the college. Uh, to help the college community get to know her a little bit better, we have some special communications planned in the very near future. And I'll have more details about that in next week's video message to you. Now on that topic, I wanna to alert you that I'm gonna be signing off from the video blog space in about two weeks. Uh, you probably know that there is a virtual send off plan for me later on this month. So you'll see me in Zoom land to some extent but I'm going to take some leave with my family as we prepare our move for Nevada. And I hope that some of you would take the time to also take time for yourself and take some time off so that we can all recharge before we get started and prepare for the fall semester. Now, there will still be plenty of communications about the college operations, but I'm going to be handing those over to the divisions most closely connected to them. And I hope that you're watching the valuable employee forms that are in action right now. I've seen a couple of them and it's clear that the college is engaging, I think, in some very deliberate conversations to respond to employee concerns. Uh, some of these are questions that can be challenging, as you may have heard in the forums, but we're being very intentional to make the decisions that we are making so that they are equity based that they're OSHA compliant, and that they're flexible enough to account for all of those realities that some of us are facing. Uh, there's a special process in place uh, for employees who may be dealing with issues related to health conditions, child care, elder care, and many others. So I encourage you to reach out to our human resources contacts so that they can know and help you understand what your options are as you are planning your return to our facilities. Now, I want to thank all of you for your communications with me and for your support of Dr. Dukes and the college's senior leadership team. I'm proud of how well the college has moved through this pandemic while continuing to focus on our mission. Uh, we have proven something to ourselves about our capacities for innovation and also for our capacities around empathy. Uh, personally, I have been more inspired than ever about our role in the community and our potential to drive change going forward. I hope that each and every one of you has an absolutely glorious weekend and take care of yourself. Be well.